I'm Salih Ismail. I'm the program coordinator and lecturer for the School of IT and Engineering. At Curtin University Dubai, our recent addition is the Bachelor of Science in Computing for Cybersecurity. It is a three-year majors program. The first year, we actually introduce various different fields of technology like databases, operating systems, Linux flavor of operating systems, a linear algebra, statistical analysis, etc. The idea is to make sure that the students are well versed with the different fields of uh, IT before they actually move into cybersecurity. In the second year, we actually start off with cybersecurity with the fundamentals of data security, data cryptography, etc. And in the third year, we move on to much more advanced topics in cybersecurity uh, like penetration testing, forensic analysis, incident handling, etc. The last year, the, the students are also supposed to do a capstone project in cybersecurity. They are free to choose from a various different specializations that's available to them, like forensics, data security, network security, etc. Currently, with Internet of Things, cloud computing, artificial intelligence booming in the technology industry, security is seen as one of the major challenges in, in all these fields. And to solve that problem, there has been a shortage of global workforce in cybersecurity. Recent statistics from the International Information Security Consortium shows that there is a shortage of 2 million workforce in cybersecurity. Currently, in the IT industry, it is one of the most sought after job and the most paid job compared to any other fields in technology. Recently, the trends have actually shown that there is a requirement for management workforce as well as um, clerical work jobs in cybersecurity. You tend to have a career option similar to an IT security analyst, IT security, systems engineer, etc. But similar to that, you have management positions as well available in cybersecurity. Our cybersecurity programs tries to bridge the gap between the industry requirement, practical analysis, and the skill sets that's required, and we bridge the gap between the industry and education. For more educational videos, please subscribe. If you have more tips and suggestions, please leave them in the comment below. Thank you.